Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of Don Gone Rompa. And so, what I've done off screen is I've made a chart of everybody's alibis because uh, I was I was thinking about this and I was thinking about because I don't want to be unprepared for next next class trial. So I've been thinking. Um, <clears throat> the people that are safe in this are people that were with me. Anybody with me is safe. So we know for four, for f a fact four people are safe. Me, Kazuichi, Ibuki, and Mikan. Kazuichi could have maybe done it, um, but I think he's the one that found the body. I don't think he's the one that killed. So I think he's safe. Nagato was tied up, so he could not have done it. Um, so that's, that's a thing. And then you also have... Uh, Mahiru, who couldn't have done it to herself because I don't think that's even a thing that can happen. Uh, so that leaves Nekumaru, whose account is basically Akane's account. Um, so if, if those accounts don't match up, then there's a problem. Sayanji couldn't have found the dead body because if she did, then the alarm would have rang when she was crying and running away. But it, she came from the crime scene, meaning she knows something. Uh, Fuhiko is very suspicious because he vanished at the time of the crime, but that's a little bit too suspicious, right? And then Sonya Nevermind claimed she was putting on a swimsuit, but was late. Uh, so that, that leaves some questions. And then Gundam has no alibi, and Chiaki came in after we saw Sayanji cry. And then Sword... This, the, the Peko girl came in after uh, she was swimming and was wet. So, I don't know. We, we got to continue this, though. Um, so, let's find out why this was added to our truth bullet section. Of uh, girly swimsuit. So, I'm thinking that it's only never mind. That did it. She, it's all been kind of like building up to it being her. Isn't it bad if you say, I mean, I don't want to be involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around too. Oh, that's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But don't we have to report this to police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect. Just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Yeah. It'd be best if we left this room and somehow found... Uh, somehow found it. Just lock the door and leave everything out how it was. Hey, please, wait, don't leave me. Girl D. Okay, so I'm playing the first and third day. Girl E. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You want to... You want you asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Dots. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom while I was going home, and I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broke broken vase pieces mean? Dots. That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of the window breaking. What, what is this? I, I don't know anything about this face. I had a feeling Girl E did something. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape through that window. Seriously, I don't know anything. Bounce. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Yeah, so Girl E is the one that killed that girl. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, Girl E? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not, that's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... You didn't say anything to me earlier. Uh... I knew you knew. I knew the girl that got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club way back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl Lee, don't tell me you... That bitch. She thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And just... And I just couldn't stand it anymore. 
You know, at first I tried to talk to her, but that bitch, she started talking about shit how she'd target me next time, so I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so that's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Ah, girl E. What the flip? That bitch. Girl E, was it? And guy F. <laughs> Word is, she was with her on the day of the incident. Dance. She looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This face is... Dots. Could it be the sound of breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't, why did she secretly try to get rid of this? That bitch. Why the hell... What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her. Huh. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incidents uh, first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Now you filled in for all four events uh, from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um. You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense, and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, it's not that. Hey? While you were talking, it looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. Producer Monokuma. Director Monokuma. Supervisor Monokuma. Play scenario Monokuma. Programmer Monokuma. Graphics Monokuma. Sound Monokuma. Cast. Sumiki, Koizumi, Hiyoka, Miyota, Sato. Whoa! Rana, Sato, Kuziryu, Kuziryu. What? Whoa, whoa, wait just now. See? Didn't I tell you? You wanna know. Oh, what you wanna know is gonna be on there. Yay, congrats, miracle congratulations. You have finally beaten the Twilight Syndrome murder case. <laughs> now that you guys have played the game through to the end, you should already know. That's right, this game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way... By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. But, even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helpful. The school life is no long you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life? Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations. Now as an any prize, I'm supposed to reward you for clearing that game. But I won't give it to you. Ending prize. There's only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person to beat it. Too bad. Hoo hoo, how disappointing. Did you say ending prize? I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd have known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Ending prize. So Fuhiko has the ending prize. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how our school life as the setting of the game. Which is a thought. It's connected to that this time too. Uh, but is it really, is it really true? Uh, we are already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken. Is, that some, is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? Yeah. Looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. Don't. So you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Uh, whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. Uh, if I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. 
uh, I should have known I might learn about something. The mystery behind Mahir's death about whether the game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken hey, away. Hey. Uh, the one's hurry and ask the other. <laughs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in a game. Leave it to me. Also, if only you knew, Chiaki. Uh, uh, also, if you want to get the thoughts about the con or content of the game, talk to me anytime. Let's see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. Hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. Oh, I don't want auto on. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, oh, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we travel together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Man. No, maybe I'm a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similar to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well... <laughs> there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? The characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both question them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you guys should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Thanks. What should we do? Mm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. Yes, you're right. There's a lot of, it's all of like, what are we going to do? We have to do the inevitable. Let's do the inevitable. And then they do the inevitable. It, they have to they have to do the things that they're doing, so I don't know why they're just not doing it. Um, so we gotta go to the airport, uh, which is over here. Yes. There we go. To the airport, and. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there's actually anything interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hajime, over here. Uh, Mikan, Ibuki, Haiko are all here. I'm trying to think of what they have to do in the game. We're... Okay, thank you. Uh, Sumiki, uh, Koizami, Sayanji, Miyoda, Satu, and Kuzu. Okay, so Kudu, Kusuru is the gangster guy. Koizumi is the dead girl. Sumiki, Sayanji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuru. Well. I really wanted to Fuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? <laughs> I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? So we came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. Well, I, I mean, he did work. <laughs> a lie? You tricked us. What the? Jeez! Then I'm leaving. Wait! Wait, can you finish until we've finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? <laughs> this, this is like I'm on the same team as Nagata. Yeah, I, um, I have to, yeah, I agree. I, I don't care about Nagato. He's helping, so. Can't believe you actually tricked us so we'd come to this place. I have nothing to say impudent regular people like you. Regular, huh? She's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. Can I talk to you? Okay, so you're not gonna say anything. Hmm. Hmm. I'm running through the game in my head. There was a rude girl uh, who said rude things, and that was girl A, girl D. Girl D? No, no, that wasn't girl D. Was it girl D? Someone was a bully, and that's her. Someone was also super scared. Have you played the Twilight Syndrome? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game, I'm also, also I'm not very really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. A timid tone. I'm pretty sure that the girl A character was like that too. Yes. Hey hey. Can you tell me about your relationship with Mahidu? <laughs> relationship with Mahidu. 
When I first met her, um, we gathered at the first classroom with everyone else. After arriving on this, I had a few conversations with her, but... Did Mahuto hate me? That, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. It's more like she doesn't remember anything. Even though she hated me for her to actually invite me, uh, she must have been a really kind person. Invite? Uh, invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious and she wondered, wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I had already plans, I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline. Because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went for, with her, this wouldn't have happened. Wow. Huh. Mihiru invited me, can why? Hey, Boogie, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on. Have you played that? Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at this. Yeah! Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy, there was a character like that in the game too. What do you mean, like, uh, do you mean that in a perverted way? No, I mean normal way. Even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahu was... When I asked my mother to go to the beach this morning with us, she made a real disappointing face. A disappointing I face. See, I see. Yeah, but disappointing disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with the department store rooftops. Stay focused That's on totally it. it. It turns out Mahiro had some business too. She wanted to invite me to that instead. So it's something like I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans. Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. I even invited a beefy, but why? I see. Looks like everyone obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, it seems like Mahiro also beat that game. What? Why? How do you know that? You don't know? It, if she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen the people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. Oh. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. I got it. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiro would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember... Uh, what happened to Mahiro? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? What, why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me? Who mean? Tempt? That's such a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong! That's disrespectful toward Mahiru. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. You're right. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... More importantly, it would have been easier to listen to what she had to say. She was being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mahiro spoke to everyone that appeared in the game, she must have talked to you, right? Well, Hiyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all. I find that hard to believe. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So I'm just going to go back to my cottage now. Ah, uh, hey, hey, Yoko. Ignoring my voice, Yoko ran away as if she were avoiding me. <laughs> it looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That much is decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here. So why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Hey. He's not a problem. Even his exit was pushy. You see, he's helping though. Like he's not. He's not being rude. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we head back to the scene of the crime and one more time and investigate? No, it's, it's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat the game, it's best we investigate there, I think. Mm -hmm. She might have known that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. 
You're okay with that, right? Dots. Uh, that's your cue to say yes. All right, so here's my theory. Um, I know I know that what's his name beat the game, or at least he had the envelope. So he either beat the game first or stole it from somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out because if I can figure out who the killer is. I can see where the conversations are going, and then it'll be an easier class trial. Because before, I had no idea it was Tether um, that did that. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, Mahu's Cottage. Mahu's Cottage. Okay. Uh, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Let's check our pet, because it's probably about to die. Alright. Uh, now that I've checked my pet, we're here with Shiaki. Hello. Should be on this side in the very back. This door looks unlocked. Moving after you're told, told would be two-third rate, so I'm sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate too. Don't. I guess I should go inside. So don't remove anything. Yo! Hey, look at that over there. Do you see that over in the left corner by Chiaki? Compared to my room, this cottage had a subtle what, uh, pleasant smell wafting throughout the room. Uh, this proves Mahio was here, uh, but she's not coming back, Dots. Um... Uh, then I should... See? Try looking for a naughty book. What? Why? Yep. <laughs> oh, no, no, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that type of person? Jeez, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed. I would, but then this is... No. No. Um. Okay, I think that's it. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Thank you. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. Um. Didn't what's his name have that though? What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was a few photos. Ah, uh, this photo. This is a photo of Mikan and Buki and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that yeah. game. There's a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late. And Girl D tried to take her, uh, cheer her up by taking a picture. Is this the photo she took? Huh. So this clearly labels... Uh, girl A is the one in the back. Sayanji was definitely one of the people. The entrance hall photo is added to the truth sections of your handbook. Huh. Just look at this photo too. The broken face. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, as I recall, the broken vase is in the classroom next to the musical. Broken vase photos added to the truth section of your handbook. But still. But this photo is more shocking. So that I was stunned in silence. Sonia? Hmm. This is an actual photo of a dead body. And there's a piano behind the body, so it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, can this be the photo of the first victim? Uh, you mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first oh. day? Yeah, it's the one that they blamed on a pervert. Sayanji. That looks, they're not Sayanji, it looks like, um, the princess. 
one more this last part. Hmm. This is probably the photo of Girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Um. I mean, it matches her body in the game. See? Yeah, there's no mistake. This is the photo of Girl E. I don't get what that game has to do with anything. Um, probably stupid, but... It, uh. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. Like, do you guys know what's going on? So based on all these photos... Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. Uh, this is the ending prize for beating Twilight. And what's depicted in these photos? Uh, proves that Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Oh, what's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Uh, try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, once you do, you should remember all that you did to my sister. Uh, and we'll talk then. Sister, sister, sister. Yes, no. Wait. Time out. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mahi. Someone else sent this to Mahi. And that person is the person that actually received the prize. Fuhiko. Maybe who wasn't lured there by Nagato. She also received this envelope. Yep. Uh, and that's why she played the game, right? The person who played the game first. Temple is looks very smart. The word sister written in this name. Based on the clues, I can't think of anyone other other than him. The ending prize. So Fuhiko, they're pointing to Fuhiko. But I... Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru. But there's not much time left. I need to hurry. So, um, it, it, all evidence is obviously pointing to Fuhiko. Um, <laughs> but that's too easy, right? Like, the game wouldn't... The game... It wouldn't be a game if, 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 they, if they did that, right? Like, they would just, like, give you the, the thing. I guess it would. But I don't see that game, or this game, doing that. Because that's what I did in the last trial, and it definitely was not that. It was not him. Because obviously he's still here in front of us. Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? No, no. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? Down to me. I'll let you know if you if you dropped your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was joking. Didn't sound like a joke to Actually. me. Actually, it's about the footprints. The killer left the footprints in the beach of the house, right? Did you find out his footprints was <laughs> If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course. You'll come with me, right? Mm. I'm going to try to talk to Fuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. Mm. So I'll leave this to you. Yep. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it would be impossible. But it might be different with a girl. Just be careful he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Um. Yeah. So, like I was saying, is I feel like it's definitely not Fuhiko because they're putting too much emphasis on Fuhiko, right? Um. Because last time I thought it was. Nagato, and it wasn't him, and all evidence pointed to Nagato, but it obviously wasn't him. Uh, so my my thoughts are that they're pointing to Fuhiko, but it's gonna be Sonya, never mind. Uh, because it's the most unexpected person whose alibi doesn't pay out. They have nothing to prove their alibi, right? Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was going to the beach. I have to go over here first. But yeah, so he, I really think it's going to be Sonya. You know, it, it's the most unexpected person, and their alibi doesn't pay out. So 
So does Nekomaru's. Nek Nekomaru doesn't pay out, and so does Gundam's, actually. Gundam, Gundam doesn't have a thing right now, so... Uh... Actually, where is Gundam right now? Gundam Tanaka, where are you? Oh, that's not, that's not the right thing. Map. Gundam's actually right there. He's at the diner park. I need to talk to him. I need to find out what he was, what he, he was doing. He has no alibi. Uh, diner. Diner parking. Alright, Gundam. Hey, what's going on, dude? So you have I was right. Huh? What happened? I already assumed you would come here. There's nothing you can hide from me, the supreme overlord who wields the four dark divas of destruction. There, thus, I know everything. For instance, I happen to know your fiends I can see it. were preoccupied with your infi infantile beach play. Nature, the collective will of the world. It matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's precisely it. Uh, so he wanted to be invited, too. Um... Still doesn't have an alibi. It, besides that, he wants to be alone. I don't know. I don't know. Like he wants to be alone, so I guess that's a, that's a, his thing. I can't see him being the murderer though. His alibi doesn't pay out though, so he's a, he's definitely now a suspicious then. person. Uh, let's try going inside. My. Nagato. Whoa! Whoa, why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an old What one. the heck? Uh, this bastard. Um. You two arrived at a good time. Big news! Big news. I have discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery. Um, uh, not only that, weren't you just over there? I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Alright, so let's talk to Mikan first. Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it. So just get on with it. I tried my best to perform an autopsy, and I was able to find out Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind with one blow. Based on that scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say, um, and it looks Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? Sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. So she, she couldn't have been... She couldn't have crawled. Um. There's another thing I found. <laughs> I'm sorry, I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Uh, uh, during the autopsy, I discovered that this in Mahiru's pocket. It seems there is someone... I was going to tell you, but I couldn't find you in person, so I put this in your mailbox. Um, it seems there is someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Uh, about what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come by the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try not to see each other for a while. Do that if they start to say on it. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hyako met up with Mahu, right? Plus, Mahu's estimated time of death was 3 p.m. and that's and they met 30 minutes prior. If you think about what that implies, then if it's true, what happened between Mahu and Hyoko? Um, okay, okay, yeah. 
Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. Okay, what's the big news? This better be life changing. Remember that son of Esperto mask that was next to Mahabu's body? Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face? Listen. No, that is not correct. The mask was not just used to hide their face. What was it used for? Well? Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a killer who, uh, and self possessed ally of justice who knew, whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. That is an order! Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Hey. Sparkling Justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? Is it true? It's true the mask you found is a hero mask, but the hero a heroine mask to be precise. Uh Cern is a pretty witch girl. See, a heroine. Anyway. Anyway, you're saying that it's possible that the serial killer is the one who pilled Ma Maharu? Which means there's a serial killer hiding among them. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video games. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killer used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However... Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we were to exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil! The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! <laughs> what the heck was that? Well? That is just... That is the sparkling justice catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has this catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There's only ever been one person, a journalist, who interviewed the Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, However in the end, the, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. No good for it can come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not even want to hear that from you. Uh, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, no one knows the true age gender, making them very mysterious individuals. Isn't that kind of a stretch? To say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group. Listen. No, it does not just mean they're in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahu. Wow. That's probably not possible. I... The only thing I can think of, no matter how much I can think about it, I simply cannot believe uh... it. And one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No, how no matter how much I think about it, I simply... Isn't this exactly what happened last time? Sonya. I do understand Sonya's feelings, but... It's highly unlikely there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Alright. So that's... That's... Alright, so that's, uh, that's 38 minutes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will find out more about this. Uh, my, my thoughts right now, is, as it currently stands, is, is that uh, Hyun, or Sionji just got super suspicious. Um, she couldn't have found the body, uh, because if she f she was the one that found the body, then the alarm would have went off then. So she either was involved in the murder, or she ran away before the murder occurred. Um... Which is weird to me. And then Fuhiko is involved in it somehow, but I don't know what that means. Uh, and there was a gummy bear in the closet, so she was in the closet. So they're making it very obvious that it's Sayanji or whatever now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tuple Player Negative Video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, let me know. Leave a comment if you want to have a conversation. Subscribe if you feel necessary. This has been Tubu Player Negative AE, and I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Peace out, guys.